We're just left in limbo. This morning, Kaylee Gonzalez's parents sharing exclusively with GMA never before seen pictures and videos of their 21 year old daughter. This is a type, yeah. um, so you can like season with these, yeah, like, you can't really season with them, but you can cook with them. Yeah, I know that's in front of the tower. Yeah. This is at the, in front of the University of Idaho Tower. Mm -hmm. The family still waiting on a full digital copy of Kaylee's phone from authorities. These are the Sunday. last moments of your child's life and you're sitting here fighting with somebody who just doesn't care. They were able to collect some of Kaylee's belongings from the university over the summer, which raised concerns for them about how well possible evidence was processed, including a trash can from Kaylee's room that was full and appeared untouched. We opened it. It was a little um, squeezy applesauce thing that you would give to like a toddler. Yeah. It did not appear to have been gone through. Police saying they had gathered more than 100 pieces of physical evidence from the scene, along with some 4,000 photos and 3D scans of the residents. Still, frustration mounting for the family over what they consider a lack of communication and a rush to tear down the home on King Road. Christy describes for the first time how Kaylee was found. It's my understanding Kaylee was kind of sitting up yes. and had fought. Yeah. And the way that, that room's put together, if you come through that door, you can't get out of that room. Completely, totally trapped. Yeah. You're in tiny, a bed. Tiny, tiny room. The bed, the, the bed was the, the entire room. You could barely open up the door without swiping the, the foot of the bed. And it was wall, wall. You know, the headboard was up against the wall. The side where Kaylee was on was up against the wall. And if you can imagine Kaylee in an upright sort of position, up in the corner, slumped. I mean, she was trapped. The home on King Road was torn down in the pre-dawn hours of December 28th.